The waterfall model is one of the oldest methods and literally depicts a waterfall effect. The output from each previous phase flows into or becomes the initial input for the next phase. Feasibility As the term implies, the feasibility study is used to determine if the project should be initiated and supported. Analysis During the analysis phase, the requirements for the system are teased out from a detailed study of the business needs of the organization. This is when workflows and business practices are examined. Design The design phase focuses on high and low level design and interface and data design. At the high level phase, the team establishes what programs are needed and ascertains how they are going to interact. At the low end phase, they explore how the individual programs are actually going to work. The interface design determines what the look and feel will be or what the interface will look like. Implement During this phase, the designs are brought to life through programming code. The right programming language such as C, Pascal, Java and so forth is chosen based on the application requirements. Test the testing is generally broken down into five layers. 1. The individual programming modules. Typically the programs are developed in a modular fashion and these individual modules are subjected to detailed testing. 2. Integration. The separate modules are then synthesized and the interfaces between the modules are tested. 3. Volume. The system is evaluated with respect to its platform and expected amount or volume of data. 4. The system as a whole. The system is then tested as a complete system by the team. 5. Beta testing. Finally, to determine if the system performs appropriately for the user, it is beta tested. During beta testing, users put the new system through its paces to make sure that it does what they need it to do to perform their jobs. Maintain. Once the system has been finalized for the testing phase, it must be maintained. This would include user support through actual software changes necessitated through use or time. The waterfall process is linear and progresses sequentially. The main lack of iterative development is seen as a major weakness according to Purcell. No projects are static and typically changes occur during the SDLC. As requirements change, there is no way formally to address them using the waterfall method after project requirements are developed. The waterfall model should be used for simple projects when the requirements are well known and stable from the outset.